Hi, I'm Ken Shirley. I'm here with a Kanjira pattern. This is a Yati exercise. Now, for those of you who know Carnatic rhythmic theory, you know what a Yati is. For those of you who are new to it, let me give a quick demo. A Yati is a shape. It's a visualized shape, which is used to create rhythmic patterns. So there's the, the reduction pattern, Gopucha Yati. There's an expansion pattern, Shrotavaha Yati. There are combinations where you put reduction, then expansion, which is called Damaru Yati. And the opposite, you expand the pattern out and then you contract it, that's Mridanga Yati. There's also Samayati, which is the same length patterns. And then Visamayati, just to make the, the theoretical system complete, Visamayati are patterns with no discernible shape. So the pattern I have today is for the Kanjira, the South Indian lizard skin tambourine. We're gonna learn it first using solkatu syllables, and then I'll show you how to play it on the kanjira. This particular yati is uh, damaru yati. It starts with a pattern that's seven pulses long. You do that twice. Then the next one is shorter. It's only five pulses long. You do that twice. The next one is only four pulses long. You do that twice. Then it expands out again. You repeat the five pattern twice. You repeat the seven pattern twice. Then there's an ending where you loop a little chunk of the seven pattern to create a mora or a rhythmic cadence, which is a repetition of a phrase three times to end on sum. This exercise is in Aditala, the eight beat Carnatic rhythmic cycle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are only three patterns which are used in this Yati exercise. Dum, which I write as an O for open. The ta, which I write as three to indicate the number of fingers that are involved, those three. And then kita taka is a closed pattern, it goes back and forth. I would write that one, three, one, three. Kita taka, kita taka. The first phrase, which is in seven pulses, goes like this. Kita taka dum ta, dum. Kita taka dum ta, dum. Now why is it seven? Because the gaps in between the notes are crucial and they add up to seven pulses. Kita taka dum ta, dum. Kita taka dum ta, dum. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kita taka dum ta, dum. That goes twice. Then you do a reduction of that. Kita taka dum ta, and that fifth pulse is really crucial. Kita taka dum ta, kita taka dum ta. Then just kita taka dum, kita taka dum to create a pattern of four. So that is the reduction part of this yati. Let's do that one more time. Kita taka dum ta, dum. Kita taka dum ta, dum. Kita taka dum ta, kita taka dum ta. Kita taka dum, kita taka dum. Let's go to the kanjira. And slowly, we'll do that. Kita taka dum ta, dum. Kita taka dum ta, dum. So that is the main phrase. Kita taka, one, three, one, three. Dum ta, open, three. Dum, open. Then after you do that, you do the reduction, just the first part of the phrase. Kita taka dum ta. Kita taka dum ta. One three one three open three and one three one three open three, and then reduction further. Kita taka dum. Kita taka dum. Or one three one three o. Oh. One three one three o. Oh. Then we start repeating so that we we're to create this damaruyati, which is an hourglass shape. It starts out longer patterns getting shorter and then getting longer again. So we're going to literally repeat the phrase in five and the phrase in seven after we've done sevens, fives, fours, then we'll do fives and sevens. Let's do this with the tala and we'll do it at a slow pace. Okay. So five, six, seven, eight. Kita taka dum ta dum. Kita taka dum ta dum. Kita taka dum ta Kita taka dum ta, kita taka dum, kita taka dum, kita taka dum ta, kita taka dum ta, kita taka dum ta, dum. 
kita taka dum ta dum. Now you'll notice we're only on the fourth beat. We're about to go to the fifth beat. This is where the mora sequence comes in. So the last part of that seven, dum ta dum, we loop that two more times to create a repetition of three, which is a mora. That is in South Indian or Carnatic classical music, that type of rhythmic cadence. In the north, in Hindustani music, there's a similar concept which is called tihai, which is a repetition three times, landing on the first beat of the cycle, sum. So how does this work? We have four more beats left, five, six, seven, eight. So we just take that very last bit, dum ta, dum, dum ta, dum. And so the last dum ends on the first beat of the tala. One more time, let's go through the whole sequence with solkatu only, and then we'll play it slowly on the kanjira. Five, six, seven, eight. Kita taka dum ta, dum. Kita taka dum ta, dum. Kita taka dum ta, kita taka dum ta, kita taka dum, kita taka dum, kita taka dum ta, kita taka dum ta, kita taka dum ta, dum, kita taka dum ta, dum, dum ta, dum, dum ta, dum. And we're back on the first beat. Okay, that sounds pretty good. That's what I would call a half speed. This is actually meant when it's played on the drum to be twice that fast. So you'd have phrases that sound more like Okay, we can work up to that. Let's do it slowly so we can get all of the sequences correct. The first one we do, which is in seven pulses, that contains the whole piece. Doom. There aren't any other patterns except that. Everything is derived from that sequence. Kita taka dum ta dum twice. Kita taka dum ta dum. Then kita taka dum ta twice. Kita taka dum ta. Then kita taka dum twice. Kita taka. Then back to the five. Kita taka dum ta. Kita taka dum ta. Back to the seven. Kita taka dum ta dum. Kita taka dum ta dum mora dum ta dum dum ta dum. That is the yati exercise. I'm going to set the tala. I'll do 75 beats per minute. So let's go through this in half speed and full speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kita taka dum. speed five six seven Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Kanjira exercise. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. I upload videos about rhythm, drumming, and percussion, and I'd love to have you come back and join me for another video.